congratulations on your transplant. You are now home, or at least on your way, and you're probably wondering, what's next? My friends and I at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC would like to talk to you about a few things that will help make your recovery a smooth one. In this episode, you will learn about medications and tests, signs and symptoms of complications, such as rejection and infection, and healthy behaviors for recovery. So, sit back, relax, and let's talk about healthy living after your transplant. At first, the number of medications and the number of times that you need to take them every day may seem overwhelming. As time goes by, it will get easier. Just hang in there. When you are getting ready to go home, it is very important that you know about all of your medications. Why each medication is prescribed, what is the dose, when should they be given, what are the side effects, and any special instructions. To stay healthy, you will also need to follow your medication schedule, have labs drawn routinely, and attend all follow-up appointments. The most important medication that you will need to take after your transplant is your immunosuppression, also known as your anti-rejection medicine. Our immune system protects our body by attacking foreign substances like viruses and bacteria. However, it can also cause some problems for transplant patients by attacking your newly transplanted organ. You will need to take your anti-rejection medication every day as prescribed to keep this from happening. You will need to take immunosuppressants for the rest of your life to protect your transplanted organ. Medications need to be taken daily, always as prescribed. Taking your medications correctly and following the medication schedule will help keep you healthy. Rejection of your transplanted organ can occur at any time as a result of missed doses of anti-rejection medications. After a transplant, you will be provided with detailed information about taking your immunosuppression medication. You may also need to take other medications to prevent or treat biliary issues, control your blood pressure, replace electrolytes, and prevent or treat stomach irritation. It is important that you contact your post-transplant coordinator before taking any over-the-counter medication or starting any new medication. When you are getting ready to leave the hospital, your nurse will talk with you about signs and symptoms you must watch out for. When you go home, pay close attention to how you feel, your temperature, and anything else your nurse asks you to be aware of. If you notice anything is out of the ordinary, be sure to contact your coordinator right away. While you are on immunosuppression medication, there is a higher risk that you could get an infection. After your transplant, you will be given antibiotics to protect you from a bacterial infection. When your immunosuppression level is high, as when you are being treated for rejection, you are also at risk for specific viral infections like cytomegalovirus and Epstein-Barr virus. Both of these viruses will be closely monitored throughout the first year of your transplant. A few months after your transplant, you might come down with illnesses like a cold or the flu. The best way to keep from getting sick is to wash your hands well for at least 15 seconds with soap and water. Don't share drinks and eating utensils. Avoid large crowds, especially during cold and flu season, and to stay away from people who are sick. You will be scheduled for frequent outpatient visits and testing. These visits are important to keep you healthy and screen for rejection. Visits will be much more frequent early after your transplant and will decrease as time goes by. There may be a time when a liver biopsy is needed to determine if rejection or infection is present. Your medical team will inform you if one is needed. We want to help you live a normal, happy, active lifestyle. To do this, it is very important that you monitor your weight, blood pressure, and temperature as instructed, and maintain a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and routine checkups. Good nutrition will help you feel better. You might meet with a dietitian to help you plan a well-balanced diet that will help you gain weight. You may also need to eat more protein and foods that are rich in calcium for strong muscles and bones. 
Surgery and hospitalization can affect children and their families in many ways. Please know that the transplant team at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC will be here to support you and your child through the challenges ahead. Your pediatric transplant coordinators are available 24 hours a day. They can answer any questions you have at any time, before and after your transplant surgery. Also, you will be able to learn more and find answers to commonly asked questions by visiting the website below or referencing your post-transplant handbook. On behalf of all of us here at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC, we thank you for entrusting us with your care and wish you the best on your transplant journey.